Hi, I'm Mike Morrison and this is my Grand Seiko. My first Grand Seiko, the reference number is SBGA375. It is in the Heritage Collection and is the Midnight Blue dial. The Midnight Blue matches the packaging perfectly. Um, occasionally the Midnight Blue can look black, but I think the packaging and the watch go very nicely together. Now, I don't just think this is the best Seiko I've ever had, and I have had quite a few Seikos. I'll leave a link in the top right to the videos I've made about my Seiko journey. I think this might be the best watch I've ever owned, never mind the best Seiko. Now, why do I think that? It's quite a big claim. The spring drive movement is just so fantastic, and the build quality of this watch is really, really phenomenal. I, I can't describe it any other way. It just looks great in every light and every angle. I can't pretend to know everything about what makes this watch so remarkably accurate, uh, plus one second. Um, but the basics of it is, instead of a normal escapement, it has a quartz regulator taking the accuracy of quartz and combining it there you can see spinning around and that actually slows down the movement um yeah and you can also see the hologram of the grand seiko line on the back so one of the things i love about this watch is the smooth sweep of the second hand that is to do with the regulator versus the escapement that hand would just whiz round i think if it wasn't for the quartz regulator slowing it down and creating that beautiful smooth sweep so on wrist it looks fantastic usually i'm not a bracelet guy i'm a rubber strap person simply because the weather in singapore is so brutally hot now to wind this watch you take it out to the first position and you can see there that uh, power indicator bar is going all the way up now the detailing on that bar is beautiful you'll see it under macro second position does the date you can see there it's a color match date wheel and that whizzes through quite nicely and the last third position takes you into the hours and minutes and really the action is so smooth i've had no issues at all with the watch and the accuracy i, I can say is second to none all the other watches in my collection that are mechanical omegas tudors rolex Hublot, they all pale in comparison to the accuracy of, of this absolutely fantastic little watch 39 millimeter dial um, fits my six and three quarter inch wrist perfectly. I would say that it does everything on a day-to-day -day basis. It um, lets people know that you're into horology, which was an important factor for me deciding a everyday watch. 100 meters water resistance with the screw down crown. Formal, sporty. The only thing it's missing that I sometimes feel it could do with is a little bit of loom on the hands and the indices. That would really have just topped it off, making it a little bit more usable. There's that purple uh, color in the dial I mentioned earlier, and then back to black, and then a little bit more midnight blue. Yeah, so other than the uh, little bit of loom, I can say the clasp is fantastic. It's a proper milled clasp, and the bracelet is one of the best bracelets ever. It only has um, two micro adjusts, but it does have half links, so you're guaranteed to, to get quite a good fit. Uh, solid end links, and really beautiful construction. It's a five link uh, bracelet works really really well no complaints thank you very much for watching bye bye